Hi, I'm Patrick McGuire, and I'm an MA candidate at the Ohio University School of Film. Machen in Uniform is a 1931 German film. Uh, if The Breakfast Club is a film about teen angst, we could call this the proto-teen angst film. Uh, coming a full seven years uh, before the Holocaust, the Nazi regime, was in order, um, people forget that the Holocaust was not just about Jewish persecution, but um, sexual deviance of any kind. Those people were herded into concentration camps. Uh, those with deformities were herded in the concentration camps. With its all-female cast, Machen in Uniform is held as a cult classic among lesbian scholars and uh, queer theorists of all types. It involves a young girl named Manuela who is motherless and is sent to a boarding school. There at the boarding school, she, is, she understands that she is systematically stripped of all her emotions and things that make her a person. One thing that Manuela learns very early on in the narrative are the rules of the boarding school. One scene really illustrates this. It's when she's having her hair tied by one of the Fraulein's and she is, she complains that it's hurting her too much, but she says, she is told, this pain is something that is institutionalized. These are the rules. You'll get used to the rules. You'll get used to the pain. Throughout the narrative of the film, um, some subtitles are used uh, scarcely. Even though the, the, uh, the characters are talking, um, Subtitles don't always appear at the bottom, and I thought that was very interesting, and I thought it fed into the idea of that many things in this, uh, in this diegetic world are held back. When the doors are closed between the girls and the, the women, the authorities of the, of the area, you know, you hear all these things being said, and that, you know, but once everyone's all in the same group, we see that there are these divisions, these underlives between the powers that be, the girls, and then even the highnesses and excellencies that come in. Machen in Uniform is playing this week at the Cinematheque. Thank you for watching Real Time.